Hey everybody, Joe here. Today we're going to put together a video on dehydrating mushrooms. Camping season is right around the corner, so it's time for me to get busy and start dehydrating for the season. So I've got 800 grams of mushrooms here, which works out to one and three quarter pounds. Uh, rub the dirt off and clean them up. You don't really want to wash them, that water logs them and takes them up a lot longer to dehydrate. So you just brush them off, I already did that. And we're going to slice them up into bits, uh, approximately a quarter inch thick, maybe a little bit more. You don't want to go too thick, it will take too long to dehydrate. Place them on the dehydrator trays. You don't want them brushing up and touching each other. You want to give them some space so the air can flow. You've got five trays to do up and 800 grams of mushrooms, one and three quarter pounds. That should be just about right for what we're doing. Now, I don't think you want to watch me slice up all of these mushrooms and load all of these trays. So, I'm going to take a break from the video and I'll get the rest of that sliced and loaded up and we'll be right back. Oh hey, who turned that camera back on? We weren't quite finished slicing up the last of the mushrooms yet. Well, we've got our last couple of mushrooms. We've got five trays just about full. And we're just about ready to go. So this 800 grams is just about the perfect amount for filling this dehydrator of five trays. They're all loaded up. We're set to go. Uh, I'm going to put the lid on it, of course. So this is going to take probably about six to eight hours to dehydrate properly. You'll know they're done when they're starting to feel crispy, kind of like a cracker. So you want to get all the moisture out of them. Once you do that and properly stored, they're good for at least a year. Uh, I've had them after quite a bit longer than that and they're fine. So we've got the dehydrator all loaded and ready to go. Five trays of mushrooms, 800 grams, about one and three quarter pounds. And I've got the dehydrator set to 135 degrees. This is probably going to take approximately six to eight hours. I'll check back in about four and I may rotate the trays a bit. The ones on the bottom tray tend to dehydrate the fastest. So I'll probably put the bottom two trays up high, the top trays down a little bit lower, and then let her go again, checking in another few hours. And once it's all finished, I'll do the rest of this video, talk about storage and rehydration for later on. That's it for now, and we'll be back in a few hours with the rest. The dehydrator is on, you can probably hear it now in the background, and there it is. I'll check back on this in a few hours, and soon we'll be packing up mushrooms for the camping season. Talk to you soon. Hey everybody, we're back. It's now just about eight hours later and I just turned off the dehydrator after checking the mushrooms and they're just pretty much perfect. Just breaks apart just like the cracker. So now we're going to put them back in this bowl. The scale is set to zero with the bowl on it. We're going to load these back into the bowl and we're going to see what they weigh dehydrated. Remember earlier they were 800 grams or one and three quarter pounds. Now we're going to see what they weigh dehydrated. That's one tray. That's two trays down.
controls are dehydrated for now. We'll move that over here. Grab the scale. Remember, 800 grams or 1.75 pounds is what we had. And now we have about 300 grams, so less than half the weight. Next, we're going to put them in these jars. Put an oxygen absorber on the top. Use my canning funnel to make this a little bit easier. get all of these into the one one liter mason jar. Just gonna push them down just a little bit. You squeeze them in a little bit, not too hard, but just a little bit. Get them all in, throw in an oxygen absorber, just a very safe measure. Put the lid on. And set these other jars aside for a couple of days. We're going to be dehydrating a bunch of bell peppers in two or three days for the next video. So we're done with that. Now these, dehydrated, these can go in a shelf in a dark room. We have a cold room downstairs. Or for even better results, you can put them in your deep freeze, and they're going to keep for they're going to be good for a year easily, probably longer. And that's it for dehydrated mushrooms. Uh, when rehydrating them, just put them in a pan or a container, add some warm water on it, and let them rehydrate for about a half an hour, and they're good to go. The texture and the taste and flavor is going to be just about the same as they were before you dehydrated them. So that's dehydrating mushrooms, and we'll be back soon with another video.